Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part three of our portrait lesson series. And in this lesson, we're going to refine the features on the face, add pupils to the eyes, and work on the shadows and highlights. We'll be using the Infinite Painter app on my Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. And if you want to follow along with traditional materials, check out part one in this series. So we're going to start with a few minor details. We're going to start smoothing in the skin above the eyes and refining the shape above the eyes. <clears throat> and I just use phthalo yellow green mixture with um, alizarin crimson and keep it kind of dark and I'm going to adjust the eyelids and a little bit underneath the eyes and work on the overall shape of the eyes and trying to get them correct. And you just do this by adding in darks and lights above and below the eyes till you get the shape that you want. Also you work on the cheekbones around <clears throat> the eyes and just try to get the overall shape of the face a little bit more refined. We're at the point where we're not making big changes anymore. We're starting to work on the fine details. And so you just kind of go back and forth with light and dark paint of your skin mixture and just refine the individual features. We want to start adding a little bit of some highlight in the shadows and she's going to have a reflected highlight off her shirt. So you want to get some ultramarine blue and put a little bit of white in it and just put that on the side of her face there and on her neck. And go ahead and work on the eyes some more. You just have to keep working on the eyes until you get them right. And then the eyebrows are also an important part of <clears throat> making her look um, like, the, like the picture that we're using, the reference picture. And you just go ahead and add in more shadows on the nose, work on the <clears throat> edge of the eyes. And here we're going to go ahead and add in the whites on the eyes. Now when you're adding in whites on the eyes, don't use pure white. Take your flesh mixture and mix it in with your white a little bit because you want, you want an off-white mixture. You don't want a big glaring white color because that won't look natural. And go ahead and add in the pupils with some ultramarine blue mixed with burnt sienna. And we're not looking for the final details in the eyes here, but we want to just go ahead and check and see how this looks now. This is sort of like when you're painting traditionally, you take a step back from the canvas and you look at it from a distance. So when you're digital painting, you can just shrink it down and put it next to your reference photo and see how close you are and what all you need to do. And and so I'm working with it shrunk down because I'm comparing it to the photo. Then you can go ahead and zoom back in again and work on more details. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Angelo brush here. And I want to go ahead now and start to bring up the highlights on her face. So. I want to go ahead and pick a light orange color probably for this and <clears throat> go ahead and add, add it on the cheeks, add it above the eyes and around on the forehead and just go ahead and widen her cheekbones out a little bit. Her face needs to be a little bit more widened so I want to go ahead and and work on that and I've added some shadow color to the cheekbones to make them a little bit wider here. I've added some yellow ochre to put the, the highlight on the edge of her face 
and now I've got some cadmium orange with white in it and throw in some of the flesh color a little bit and let's go ahead and concentrate on adding the highlights above her eyes on her forehead the bridge of her nose on the cheekbones here and above next to her nose you kind of want to make the nose a little smaller probably not quite so wide and then you can throw some alizarin crimson in here and go ahead and uh, use it for a highlight color adjust the corners of her mouth and go ahead and adjust around the nose and the lines on her face and then we want to work on the shadows a little bit so we can add a little bit of alizarin crimson there on the shadows of her face and around her mouth you don't want too much alizarin crimson because that might look like a bruise so you kind of want to get a darker purple uh, maybe deoxazine purple with some burnt sienna thrown in it or something that will gray it down and so I just go ahead and add that on the neck and then I'm going to go ahead and blend all this now if you're working with acrylics you blend in the paint as soon as you put it down you can smudge it with a paper towel or your finger now if you're working in oils this is more like oils you can put down your paint and then you can go back and smudge it in later and blend it in and so you can do this with infinite painter and I picked the Angelo brush set on smudge and I'm going ahead and and just kind of blending in all this this paint this highlight color that I put put on it so and then I'm saving it because you've got to save <laughs> you don't want to lose all this work that you just did so I just continue on smudging here and blending on the nose and around the mouth and on the cheekbones and we're trying to get a rounded form and a look here on her cheekbones blend in the reflected highlight and blend around on her nose blend above the eyes we just kind of want all this paint to have soft edges we don't want hard edges and so you go ahead and blend it above the eyes and kind of blend the eyebrows a little bit too they will look like hair but they also look a little bit smudged they're not real detailed so you go ahead and just soften those soften the shadow under the hat because we don't want a, a real hard line on the shadow under the hat work on the shadows on her neck and soften those in and then go ahead and step back and look at it again or shrink it down and right now we're making progress we're beginning to make it look like the reference photo this is the end of part three of our portrait lesson and next time in part four we're going to work on further refining the facial features and work on the hair some so if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and thanks everybody for watching. Thank you for all your support and I will catch you later.